This video is going to be more like a vlog for me this morning, honestly, because my hair is a mess and I'm also thinking of shaving it off. And I really want to talk about like my progress so far trying to focus and learn front end development. Hi guys, welcome back to my video. If you hear my dog back in, like, yeah, dogs. So it's been a while. I've posted a video here and I finally said let me just do this so anyway something happened and i'm going to explain that in the video in due time but it's morning i'm hungry and i want to eat indomie so i'm cooking two different kinds of indomie the normal one and this i've had it for a very long time and today i decided to like okay let's test it out as my mom hi guys so I am going to cook this thing. It's been a while. I have been saying I'm going to do this for the longest of times. This should be the fish with the fish powder. The normal spices that come with the Indomie pork as a pepper and seasoning. And yeah, that should be like soy sauce. So it says that right here on the pack that I have gone through. So... We're just gonna get into the video and start doing this thing mind you it's not a review like we're not doing like a proper review or cook video this is just rush hour so we have tomatoes here which i have diced and we also have onion and pepper green beans and the indomie and voila it's done the normal one is here and that is the relish indomie not much different apart from color and taste so like while I was cooking this, I thought maybe I could do like a mukbang. I do not have a camera stand. Well, I have a camera stand, but I don't have one for my phone. So yeah, this is what the Indomie looks like. I'm gonna show. Oh God, this is so stressful. Uh, okay, yeah, I think I can do it like this. I could try it on my left hand. So this right here is the relish, the Indomie relish, and this. Here is normal indomie that I cook. This is a mess. Apologies. Anyway, so I don't know, should I test it and give you guys a review? To be honest, there isn't that much difference in it. It's just like plain indomie with soy sauce and fish and fish powder because that was what was inside it and I didn't really do this video to show you like a recipe on how to do this I just did it because of I was hungry and I was like okay let me just video this then and yeah I don't have any stand to probably record the video and I just went dived into it I don't know, okay hi guys so Something happened, I haven't been consistent making videos and I think I'm tired of saying that I am not consistent making videos. For the last two months, I have been pretty consistent. What happened was I decided to learn programming and entirely like focus on it and just see where that leads me. And I'm also back in school. I know, yeah, I dropped out, but I'm officially a non-dropout because I went back to school and I'm starting all over again from 100 level. Anyway, I will do a special video for that one day. My mom is singing. If you hear that, please just, let's just go on. Okay, getting back on track. This video is going to be more like a vlog for me this morning, honestly, because my hair is a mess and I'm also thinking of shaving it off. And I really want to talk about like my progress so far trying to focus and learn front end development. So basically that's like HTML, CSS, JavaScript. I already know how to build websites and apps, but I know how to do those things using templates. So for example, building a website is easier for me because of WordPress. And for Android apps, there are uncountable templates out there. So it's very easy to edit the XML for people who know what I'm talking about. Stay into it. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can easily just Google these things, XML, and it will be explained. Extended something, something. And yeah, 
But knowing Java, the programming language Java, is quite tricky for me because anytime I watch tutorials, I do not like practice the type out. Like I don't type, I just watch the videos and I sleep off during the videos because just to be watching and doing nothing could make it very boring and yeah, you tend to sleep. So I figured that if you want to learn programming, while you're watching the lessons, you also need to be practicing at the same time. If not, it's not really going to work out because programming is more about like type memory, like your hand muscle memory kind of thing. And since then, like right now, I am learning front end development on Freed Code and um, Freed Code Camp. And the way it's set up is quite nice and it's very, well, I say demanding for you to like do all the logical thinking yourself and also type it out. So it's not about just read or watch a video here and there and you're done. You are practically like doing the job from the get go, which is very, very interesting for me. So this video is more about me testing programming stuff and seeing how that goes. Maybe I might just be like a programming vlogger in a sense, in a way. I'm meant to do more videos about Joss. I mean, but like my shyness will not allow me step out from the house to raise my phone in the market. Like I want to show you guys the this market, but I'm not sure like my anxiety about security concerns. So let me do that. So that's why you guys haven't seen like tons of videos about Joss and the cool places like, um, Tin City Cafe that is very, very beautiful will not let you do a video there, which is very annoying because that place is very fine and I think people deserve to see it. So yeah, this is it is what it is, right? When it comes to content developing. So if you guys see content about programming, please watch. I mean, you might learn a new skill out there and hey, programmers are making money. So do not unsubscribe from this channel. <laughs> So hopefully I will be doing more content. I just need to know what I'm doing. Although this channel is more generalistic in the way that anything goes here for now until I find like a proper niche to focus on. And I was meant to also review a book that I bought like before the Corona thing started and it's in Abuja and I don't know what's going to happen. I might have to go to Abuja to get that book and do a review on it. So see you guys in my next one. Hope you like the interview that you don't eat. Stay safe. Bye.